starting a new glue book, and welcoming back New Theme Thursdays. Hey, it's Care. Welcome to my take at the lake. So we're gonna start a new glue book at the end. I'm gonna do a little bit of harvesting because in my time-space continuum, it is Sunday. So I have to do some kind of harvest today. And I'll show you what the theme is and what I've collected here in a bit. New Theme Thursday, for those who do not remember or know, is something that I have going and I, I was doing it for a while and then I kind of let it go, but I'm bringing it back. When I first started junk journaling years ago, there were less than 10 themes. Everyone was doing the same exact 10 journals. Steampunk, Butterflies and Botanicals, Victorian, Vintage, maybe a grunge here and there. Of course, holiday and seasons once in a while. Well, I don't understand that. There's a million things to focus on. Why would you, fo oh, sewing, sewing, sewing. Why would you focus on the same thing? What bothers me most about all of that is that we're supposed to be creative people and yet we fall into these ruts. And so I came up with new theme Thursday. Every Thursday I'd have a new theme and a whole collection of stuff to play with. And I've got maybe somewhere between 50 and 100 of them currently being collected for. And we're going to dive into one of those in a little bit. I can't wait because I think it's going to be really fun. But right now, the mood is glue books. And I am on that train. I am doing a lot of glue booking. It's a lot less time consuming and mentally creatively taxing than building a journal, making ephemera, decorating it. I love all that too. But right now we, we're in the mood for simple, easy, whatever. Well, I see in the, in the glue book world that we're in ruts too. Colors glue book, which I do have all the stuff going for a colors glue book myself. Certainly not pointing any fingers. Uh, I have a dog glue several, if we're honest, several dog book, dog glue books. I have a daily glue book. But in the glue booking realm, there's precious few different kinds. And, and again, I, it, 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 part of it is we follow the herd. If Nicole at Relax Cut Glue does an Easter glue book, well then everybody does an Easter glue book. There are, there are other things to focus on at that time of year. But we just get into these ruts and, oh, that's a fun idea. Everybody does the same thing. Oh, that's a fun idea. Everybody does the same thing. My goal with New Theme Thursday is whatever venue you're working, whatever kind of project you're working on, you don't have to follow the herd. You don't have to do what everyone else is doing. You don't have to do the same thing you did last time and the same thing that everybody is doing. So these little books are from the Dollar Tree. I got them quite a while ago. The covers are pretty good pictures, but the inside, not so much. They're kind of dull. They're not glossy. Even the bright pictures are kind of dull, but I still really like some of them. You'll see why here in a minute, why I bought these particular ones, and I'm probably going to end up tearing every page out. I love this bicycle with the polka dotted fender and the fresh fruit, and it just looks like a fruit stand. The bike's not going anywhere, but I'm going to keep the bike. The bikes are my my jam for this one. And while we're here, I, I'd like to introduce you to two, two friends of mine, two very old friends of mine, Claude and Mini Claude. Everybody has, uh, I shouldn't say everybody, but a lot of people have fairies in their midst and as little desk mas mascots. I'm not much of a fairy person myself. I am a crab person. I've had these guys, their tie from the 90s, I believe. I don't know how old they are, but I've had them forever. Yeah, 96. I think this guy came from a McDonald's pack and his little tag fell off and he got ripped. They've been around a while, but these are my little guys. Of course, their name is Claude. C-L-A-U-D. My little desk mascots. I also have a Boston one that I've shown before. His name is Before B number four, in honor of my Boston crew. I just wanted to throw that in there so that you know who I'm talking about. Kind of a cool browns for a vintage background, vintage collage of some sort. So I'm gonna keep the buttons, not so much the camels. I keep at least one of these 
for a project for one of my themes. I'm not going to tell you what it is until I announce that theme. Oh, Storm on the beach. He's awesome. Very, very colorful. But I like the storm on the beach. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look how, how that's created and how... The mosaic is made from broken bits. Wow. Pieced together. Like every single thing in here is pieced together. Wowzer. Aw, mama and her baby ducks. Not so much. Not so much. I like these guys for my uncle and my cousin's projects. They're very outdoorsy. Oh, blueberries. Not a great picture of blueberries. I'll do the the critters for the for the boys. Of course, this is this is the reason I bought this particular one. A little Frenchie reading the daily paper with a Frenchie. There's Frenchies all over that newspaper and a little paw print mug. I just think that's so fun. So now you know why I bought this whole book just for this page. I think I got these back when it was a Dollar Tree and it was actually a dollar. More critters for the boys. I have one for each of their project. Beautiful, but not really anything I'm interested in. Pretty blue for the colors glue book. And then the answers. So now this, this whole thing here is all part, not much to these booklets. Oops, tear them all. But these would make great painty papers. Maybe I will do some painty papers later today and see if I can cover some of this up. This is nice, heavy. It's like manila folder. Take the staples out. This would make a great couple of journal covers. Cut it, tear it in half this way and fold it in half this way and you've got a pretty decent sized journal or keep it big and make a master board out of it. Cut it down for artist trading cards or ATCs. Lots of things that can be done now that this is harvested. But that, this and the painty paper pile. I sound so organized, don't I? It's not organized. It's just a pile on the floor over there. It's not very organized at all. I continue to purge this room edit my supplies, as I have heard Amy at o Doki Doki Forest say. I love that phrase, and I totally scammed it for my own. Gonna take the Beastly, because he's just so cute. Cute giraffes. The giraffes are adorable. Because the photos are not glossy and not very well lit, not too bright, the, the food just does not look appetizing at all. That's kind of cool. She's standing on her tippy tippy toe at the tippy tippy top of the big city on top of a big tall building. What looks like at the edge of a big tall building. That's pretty cool. Tools. I'm going to tuck that in for my uncle. He's always fixing, making, doing something. Oh, don't you know, it's a beautiful butterfly. Nice hot pink. I might keep the pink, lose the butterfly, give the butterfly away. Nice bright colors. The rainbow part of the colors glue book. Paper airplanes, those are fun. Ah, oh, toucan. Two toucans. This is, another, this is the reason I got this book for the purple food. I think that's an artichoke. They're so beautiful. Quote unquote red cabbage. Just gorgeous purple food. I only need one of those. And then there's this guy. He's another reason I purchased this book. I'm going to take this for another one of my themes. This is pretty. I'm trying to figure out which kind of flowers are these. Are they anemones? Don't quite look like anemones. I don't know. I'm gonna take this for another one of my themes. This for my uncle. And then we're back to the the answers. 
and an empty book. So, but for two pages, I'm going to use every page in this dollar book. So, got my money's worth. Well, I'm going to use every page because I'll painty paper these. I might keep this for myself. I think that's pretty cool, too. I have a book I can put that in. So, that leaves me with this for painty paper. So, I'll put that over in the pile. And, again, another cover. Masterboard, ATCs, circles, you could cut out artist trading coins. Make If you do a masterboard, then cut it up to belly bands or tucks or whatever. That'll be a project for another day. This guy leads us to our theme for the day. New Theme Thursday. I have a New Theme Thursday Heroes playlist. None of those videos are mine. They are beautiful journal projects that I've seen over the few years that don't have any butterflies in them. Oh my God, what a concept. Not a single butterfly. Unless maybe it's a an English garden journal and there's maybe one or two because butterflies are in gardens. I get that, I'm all about that. If you're looking, and, and please consider doing something different that not everybody is doing. Check out that Heroes playlist. I will put it in the link below. You can always find the playlist on my channel. Next to the community tab is a playlist button. You can see I've made loads of playlists for you to make viewing easier. They're all organized by subject. But I've been collecting now for quite some time for what I call weirdness. I was going to put if I do, if I do journals, I'll, I'll put a, I'll tuck just a random bit. Let's say it's a, a food journal that I'm doing. I'll tuck a random bit about the world's record for bowling. <laughs> just as a conversation starter, just something a little different. And so this kind of started as something like that. I could just put a little weird something in every journal. But then I thought it should be its own subject because there's so much weirdness. And now he makes perfect sense, doesn't he? It's a weird idea to think of half human, half machine, and to see it in a photograph. Very, very weird. So you can see this gallon bag is jam-packed of stuff. We won't go through all of it, but this is the glue book that I'm going to start. Instead of making a weirdness journal, I am just going to put this collection into into a glue book. I think it'd be a whole lot faster. I can still use all of my images, still do something creative. And since we're in the mood for glue booking, why not glue book? You know, you gotta do what makes your heart happy. So in, I'm just gonna grab some weird things here. Bags, bags with bite. What? Look at this guy feeding her grapes at her computer and a guy giving her a massage of sorts. This guy's getting his shoes shined while he's working. I just think this, I have another category this could go into. I think this is horrific. This is how to keep people, I believe this article was how to keep people at work working. Feed them, give them massages, do anything to keep them right there in front of that computer. Don't let them leave. Production, production, production. Ugh. So it's weird and horrific. E.B. White says, be obscure, clearly. Lemon prize winners, once upon tomorrow. Salvador Dali, you can't have a weirdness file and not include the master of weirdness. He's fantastic. I don't know, part dog, part cat. Maybe a little bit of cow mixed in. What a bizarre picture this is. I don't know why, but he kind of creeps me out. Little weirds. Teeny little book picture. Little weirds. <laughs> Family Fang. Spontaneous combustion. Ever watch the documentaries on spontaneous human combustion? Crazy cool cancer conundrums. I don't know why that's in here. I'm not sure. You know, I collect these things over... A couple of years and who knows what I was thinking when I put it in here. It's just really, really weird pictures of animals 
almost all look like you can see their rib cage skeleton. I, I don't know. Weird picture. Destination transformation. That would be great on that guy's head. We'll put that with him because that will go good. Before there was a box. Speed orbiter. The pinnacle. He's adorable, but kind of weird. Right? I have no idea what's going on here. Water, I think. Looks like a diver. Looks like he's got swim fins on one foot because it looks like he only has one foot. I think this is a prosthetic foot, partial leg, and he's got this huge chain, just a huge chain that you'd lock up a fence with or keep a truck in the parking lot with. He's got a snorkel and his, and his mask on. Weird. Questions that make you go, what the fuck? <laughs> what? Don't worry, a human wrote this because, you know, AI is taking over the the uh, writing arena. Crazy, weird walking ladder. It's not a bridge. Well, I guess it's a, some kind of bridge. But you have to go from 2x4 to 2x4 to 2x4 over a monstrous cavern. Oh, no, thank you. Ooh, there's a creepy kind of gargoyle jester keeping someone in a box gargoyles bent over jester there's his evil long nose and his jester hat just creepy a whole bunch of very well dressed people standing in a fountain a wooden car mechanical bird that looks like a face more of those fancy dressed people standing in the fountain. That's pretty cool. The injection, I think it's, whoop, put it upside right, please. Kind of a weird picture. Secret lives of ice algae. Vital signs. I just think it's an interesting picture. Nothing personal, cat with a knife through it. Sand based monkey letters. Find a lot of weirdness in high fashion magazines. I know, let's get a giraffe to poke his head through the window so we can take a picture of this girl in a beautiful dress. Puffer, 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 puffer. Just weird, she looks like half robot, half mannequin, half stay puff person. Some interesting jewelry and makeup. Slow that shit down, care. Makeup. More with the pretty dresses and the giraffe. It's a beautiful topiary and then some kind of miniature mechanical giraffe. That creeps me out. Uh, it's just a weird picture. I think it has music over the picture. It's a terrible picture of that baby. Poor thing looks like a chemo patient. Who would do that? That just looks awful. Um, What's up with the guy with... The short skirt. <laughs> a room full of men with long skirts. And then a guy with a mini. Weird lion. Crazy art. Ads are fun for weirdness. Another ad. Her whole face is on that one. Her whole half of face is here. Sure kid. Cow and a tiara because why not? This reminds me of my great aunts in the 50s, 60s, 70s, who had absolutely nothing whatsoever to worry about. Married, healthy children, beautiful homes, lots of money. Each had their own car. They didn't have to work. They had nothing going on, which was probably part of the problem. But they all, they all needed therapy. They were all on Valium and taking aspirin for their headaches and oh my, you have nothing going on. You have nothing to worry about. So this encapsulates that period for me. Just a weird picture. Carrots over her shoulder, apples over his, strawberry in their lap. Aww. What happened here? What is going on here? What is this? I'd like to find a way to keep to make this one interactive so it you can just spin it. I'm gonna 
work on that. <laughs> oh, because we're all adults here. An emoji, an emoji baiter based on your favorite emoji. Yeah, I'm going to keep that one for a different project. Ever felt like that? Just random lists. Things I could do if I stopped writing lists. Vacations will never take place. But I like to plan. A bubble wrap furniture chair. A bubble wrap chair. Wake up and smell the coconuts. Interesting way to get points across. Again, high fashion. The epitome of weird pictures. Green minestrone. That just looks like someone puked in a bowl. Thank you, though. No. Interesting way to look at the human body. This is vintage. This is from a vintage 1960s encyclopedia. I don't know. Just kind of too close for comfort. Vampire kisses. I think I got that to go with her. A new way to stay pretty via electronic hockey mask. Now I'm all about dogs and cute, but dang, <laughs> just their heads and their butts. It's cute, but if you think about it, it's weird. Topiary dogs, not the greatest picture for Easter. More weird animals to hold your toilet paper. The S word, hmm, it's wet. Another ad, Bizarro, a voodoo doll. Like that so much, I got two of them. Losing their veganity, veganity, vegany. Losing their vegan it nitty. You try and say it. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, these are in every magazine for about five years. Weird bathroom. Wallpaper everywhere. Flowered. Plaid. Striped. That guy's eyes are bleeding. Right? You gotta look close, but his eyes are bleeding. <laughs> She's turned into the chalkboard. Okay. What in the hell is going on with that mascara? Right? So you get the picture. It's just weird. And I've got stacks and stacks. Abe Lincoln. Training a beaver. Because why not? <sighs> Guys in their dummies. Creepy. Talk about weird. There's stuff in here from old books, from... Did you ever see the movie Blue Velvet? If not, and you're into weird movies, look up Blue Velvet, the movie, and Eraserhead. Yeah. And then call your therapist. A polar bear getting foil treatments at the salon. A shark swimming in midair. Some people get toenails out their eyebrows. Cutaneous horns. Ugh. So I have my work cut out for me. This is not a one day session by any stretch of the imagination. But let's glue some while we're together, shall we? Nice haircut. Fell on the floor. So normally when I have this big pile, what I would do is trim these down and I'll, I'll do that later off camera, but I'll trim them, neaten them. I'll cut off those, those ends. And because a lot of these are from bigger magazines, they're going to have to be cut down to fit into the, to the notebook. But since we're here and I don't want to take the time to do that, I'm just going to start gluing right now. I also organize stuff by size put the, the big stuff in one pile, the medium stuff, the little stuff, and then the words. And that's the order in which I glue big stuff, medium stuff, little stuff, and then words. I'm going to start in the middle of this book because this is just because. And I'm going to work. And I'm not going to take anything out of it. 
these sewn composition books can take a whole lot but what i am going to do is take my art glitter glue and glue the loose ends of the threads down and i'm going to put a little bit i'm just going to run glue right down there let them let it sink into those little holes a little bit and then make sure that end at the bottom is glued in as well. Just to secure that thread because the whole thing relies on the strength of that sewn in binding. The Lash Frontier. I just love the play on words, it's so fun. I wanna keep the word beauty because to me, it, we do some of the weirdest stuff in the name of beauty, right? Put needles in our faces and God only knows what to plump out the lips. And, you know, that's just bizarre behavior. <laughs> I'm gonna use my questionable, I think this is, yeah, I don't know if this is good scotch or not. That's thus the question, question mark. I haven't used this in a while and it's kind of dry and hard. Now I may come back and add, add more, add something weird here. Like maybe that girl with the weird haircut might go here to cover up that. I want to keep the lash frontier because it's a great play on words and I want to keep the word beauty because really that's the whole point. It's the crazy weird stuff we do in the name of beauty. So the point of this glue book is to A, have a place to collect my weird pictures and B, just glue stuff down and, and have fun tearing, cutting, gluing paper like we did when we were kids. Now I'm not I'm not terribly vested in this in this process and that I, I I don't I don't really have much in mind for how I think it should look at the end. It's just gonna be a really cool collection of weirdness is is its only expectation. And it's gonna be that because I've already collected so much cool stuff for it. So I'm going to take up right to her top of her weird hat there. And I'm still going to have to lose a little bit on the bottom of her jacket. I don't want to put her there though. I'm going to put her on the other side. So, and I think if it's going to be a weird journal, then, then weird things should be combined together in that not cows go with cows. Why not put a cow in a tiara next to a girl with essentially its pasture on her mascara wand. Still a little too much of the cow though. Keep his little ear in there. So his ear's gonna fit on the page. Usually when you warm it up in the center like that, it gets a little bit easier to move, but this one is pretty old and it's kinda Feeling kind of crusty. I do have a glue pad here right next to me, but it's under all the stuff. And I'm being lazy and I'm gluing without it. And that will come back to bite me in the end. It usually does. So I want his ear to be on and I want it nice and flush to the bottom of the... Or not. That's all right. I'm not gonna argue with it. That's fine. Overlapping this page over to this page and this page over to this page also helps to secure that binding oh she's so pretty Where are my fussy cutters are they in here no of course not why would they be in here i'm gonna tear this hopefully i left enough that it will cover just right so those of you who are into true crime, I don't usually pay attention to current crimes. I like when things are settled and well over because there's too much speculation for my taste. People saying what they think happened and we don't know until we know. And so I don't usually like to watch current stuff. But I over the weekend, I got wrapped up in the Apple River 
stabbing trial. Holy Hannah, what an awful situation. And it's kind of, do you remember that internet thing about the gold, is this a gold dress or a blue dress? And depending, I don't know, I don't even know what it depended on, but some people swore it was gold and some people swore it was blue. And it kind of tore apart the internet because nobody could agree. How can you say a gold dress is blue? How can you say that? It was crazy. This case is much the same way. Luckily, there's a video, you know, because these days there almost always is. But this group, it, it was Apple River is where people go to party and tube, go tubing on the weekends. And 90% of the time there's alcohol involved because it's summer and we're off and we're tubing and it's party time with our friends well these there was these 13 kids together all underage most underage and all drinking beer and seltzers and vodka oh and they were high because they'd been smoking pot all day so you know they're out of their minds all tanked up feeling invincible and this old guy who's also drinking all i shouldn't say old he's 54 who's also drinking all day one of, he was with a group as well, but he left his group because one of the group lost their phone. So he got his snorkel and his goggles and he was going to go look for the phone. Well, these drunk high, pardon me, assholes saw him coming and started calling him pedophile. You looking for little girls and just started really harassing him. Uh, he got pushed in the water by one of the the teens punched we ended up punching one of the girls in the face because she kept calling him a pedophile just screaming it and she's you know if you've ever seen a teenage girl belligerent mouthy drunk this is the epitome of it and she's right up in his face calling him a pedophile and harassing him we can't cover up her tiara so that can't go there let's work on another page anyway it's so easy to compare this and it was compared to this in the comments Ooh, those are pretty color way back in the 90s when they had the uh <sighs> central park jogger who was at that time allegedly raped gang raped by a wolf pack of young men and they called it wilding these young men they were out they were probably a under the influence you know nothing good happens at two o'clock in the morning i don't know why she was out jogging at that time or whatever time it was but it was a perfect perfect way to describe you know an out of control pack of teens who already think they're invisible and the world revolves around them and they can do no wrong but now they're high and they're drunk and they think they're invincible and can do no wrong well there's a saying on the internet i think it's f-a-f-o fuck around and find out <laughs> which i love i love that phrase uh this will be fun test me right well they poked a stick at the wrong guy and you can see the terror in his face i could see the terror in his face when they pushed him down in the water he lost his balance now he's down in the water in these 13 drunk a-holes converge on him oh he gets up and he, he had a knife in his pocket because you have to cut the strings on the you know you're out in the wild in the river every guy out there probably had a knife in his pocket well he ended up stabbing five of them five of the teens because they kept coming at him and he in many people's opinion defended himself well now the kids who during the event are just big badasses you know they're mouthy and they're out on their own there's no adult supervision they're on their own they're you know they're big big shots they're partying like big shots well now they're in court and they're just we're just little kids and he was picking on teens and we're just we're barely out of diapers and we're cherubs and we're oh my god none of them took any responsibility for what happened in the case it's oh it's horrible I won't tell you the outcome in case you want to go see it for yourself. The verdict is already in. I hate to leave you on a cliffhanger, but I don't believe in spoiler alerts. Although I can say, spoiler alert, if you don't want to know what happened, put it on mute for a minute or two. So it turns out, when the cops came, the first thing the old guy did was lie. 
He tried to get rid of the knife, and he pretended he didn't know what happened, and that sunk his ship. He was the only one charged for any crime, and he was found guilty of involuntary homicide, I think it was, because of course one of the kids died, two of the kids almost died. It was bad. But for many viewers, myself included, pretty well self-defense. But as often happens, the juries, I, I worry about juries. I, 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 I worry <laughs> about the juries. I, I'm just going to leave it at that. And so that's how it happened. And that's what ended up. But absolutely terrifying. Very Lord of the Flies, you know, like these teens were just out of control. And and shit went really, really sideways. And not one of those kids is willing or able to accept any responsibility for their part in how this all went down. And that's a sad, sad statement to the quality of parenting they're getting these days. You know, parents' job is to teach their kids personal accountability, responsibility, ethics, manners, empathy, respect, self-respect, uh, respect for other people. Many of the commenters said, just imagine if they'd, if they'd have just helped the old man find the phone. Imagine what a different scenario this would be. None of us would be talking about it if the kids just behaved like decent human beings. But no, the kids behaved like out-of-control psychopaths. And I firmly believe it's because their parents let them down in the way of teaching them how to behave. You know, it starts when they're infants. You can't, you can't wait till they're 21 and start teaching them about consequences of their actions. There has to be consequences the whole way through. Manners and, and, and how to treat people. And, and people, of course, you can't teach what you don't know. So I'm just going to shut up and glue for a while. We'll put on some kind of music and we'll and we'll just glue for a bit So I think that's all I'm going to do in this book for today. You see that I could go on for probably a month and maybe get close to finishing. So I did skip around in the book in order that I want to keep the spine and 
things aligned so that because if you work from the front to the back i'll show you what happens this is the seasons glue book that i am working in with the open collaboration with amy at doki doki forest hashtag using the same images uh, and i have started and i i know that this is going to happen but i wanted this is how i want to do it but i'm work. i started with the very front page and i just keep working back you see how this one is even here but this one is on an angle here are the new pages and here are all the pages that i filled up and so it's on a serious angle this way and that puts quite a bit of strain on that spine but if you work we started with this one in the middle i started right in the very middle i glued that thread in and glued the thread ends down and then i glued a page over it and then a page over it all in effort to reinforce the spine and keep the threads safe i went from here to back here to up here to up here and so working all over the book like that next time i work i'm going to have to work back here because this didn't get much attention this time in fact i think i'll put a post-it to remind myself i think i can junk that brush brush pen i'm just going to leave myself that note to start back here but that's why i'm skipping all over the place so that i don't get a kitty wampus book so again uh check out the new theme thursday heroes playlist there's also a new theme thursdays list if you're looking for something else to do a different theme i usually give a theme today's was weirdness and i give you a whole bunch of offshoots of that uh, you might instead of weird you might think shocking or you might think funny or keep an eye out when you're harvesting magazines for things you think are weird or off or off color as in off color humor or uh, there's all kinds of ways to interpret weirdness you can do it in a weird fashion you can do a regular glue book just to these are my favorite things but do it in a weird way put some of the pictures upside down like put do opposite pages this one upside right this one upside down you can do a weird glue book so there's all kinds of different ways to interpret weirdness but that's what i am working on here check out new theme thursdays more coming all the time i have boatloads of them to share with you in the meantime go love up your beastlies because that's what they're here for and you never know what tomorrow's gonna bring My take at the lake. Out for now.